Waterworks by Stephanie. Where does water come from? Water is a limited and precious resource, and the only substance in nature found is a liquid, solid, and gas. Most of the world's fresh water is frozen, and most of the world's fresh water is too salty and cannot be drunk. Only 3% of the world's water is fresh, and less than 1% of that water is drinkable. Fresh water is found in rivers, lakes, aquifers, and plants. The sun's heat causes evaporation from streams, lakes, oceans, and rivers, and transpiration from plants. It then changes to a gas called water vapor, which forms clouds, and this is called condensation. The clouds get heavier and heavier as more water evaporates and forms bigger clouds, and when they get too heavy, it rains, hails, sleets, or snows. This is called precipitation. After the water has fallen, it collects in rivers, lakes, oceans, and aquifers. Some people's only water sources are wells. This water is cleaned when it filters into the ground through sand and gravel. Pipes bring clean water to our houses so we always have a constant water supply. This water is first cleaned and stored in a reservoir. How is water used? Water is used in many different ways. In homes, water is used for washing clothes, washing our bodies, washing dishes, cooking, and much more. In homes, we sometimes have swimming pools, which take a lot of water to fill and clean. We might also have pets that need to be washed frequently. Some people also like to play games in the water, for example, water polo. Industries also use water for many different purposes, like hydroelectricity, making paint, making medicines, making paper and pulp and paper mills, and lots more. Firefighters use water to put out fires. Builders use water to make cement. In mines, miners use water to find coal and other minerals. You can see that water is used in many different ways in life. How is water polluted? Many different people pollute water in different ways. People in homes pollute water by throwing rubbish and food items or scraps into sinks. When they are bathing or having a shower, people pollute water by using a lot of shampoo and soap. If people live close to a river, lake, or ocean, sometimes they might have motorboats, and that causes oil leaks. Some people have pets that put their manure into lakes, rivers, and ocean. Some people throw dead animals into the water. If people use lots of washing detergents and soaps, that will also pollute the water. There are lots of other ways we pollute water in our homes. Factories and farms also pollute water. Factories pour toxic wastes like chemicals or dirty water and have oil spills. Farmers use pesticides and fertilizers for growing food and much more. How can we conserve and protect water? There are many ways we can protect and conserve water. The first step is to use advertisements to get people to understand that water should not be wasted. The next step is to put out rainwater tanks to collect rainwater so that we can reuse it. The next step is to make sure we only use the amount of washing products needed in our homes. The next step is to send persuasive letters to the governments saying they need tougher laws. The next step is to make sure we only use our own water bottles and not the plastic ones. There are lots of other ways you can help protect and conserve water. The end.